Hi designers, welcome to Evaluation Matters Every Day. My name is Brent and today we're going to learn about the repertory grid. Are you looking for a powerful evaluation method that can generate favorite parameters or help you pick one out of several concepts in a design process? Then the repertory grid is a great tool to add to your toolbox. The repertory grid is a technique for identifying ways that a person interprets the experience. The key aspect of the exercise is to uncover what's important for the participant. The basis of the repertory grid is personal concept theory, which people can organize the experience that we can differentiate and describe using the attributes of those classifications called constructs. One example of a construct can be physical versus digital. Now you know a bit more about the repertory grid, we are going to do an exercise. You can follow along if you want to develop your repertory grid. In this case, we will be looking at how designers such as you perceive a set of pens. For this example, we will be using six different pens. First, the six pens are combined in randomly selected triads out of 15 possible triads. For every triad, I will ask you to think of a quality that makes two of the products alike and differentiates the third from the bunch. We will do this for different triads until you can't think of any more attributes. For each attribute, you will think of a construct consisting of an attribute at a negative pole and one at the positive pole. As you can see, the repertory grid starts to form. Now for fun, we are going to assign an ideal pen with which we can compare the six other pens. The next task will be rating each pen against each construct. Finally. After we have filled in the grid, we can analyze our answers and see what pen is rated the most favorable. As can be seen during the assignment, there are lots of possibilities when using the repertory grid. The repertory grid can be utilized during multiple design stages of a design process. In the beginning, you can use it to determine which parameters are favored by the user. Another great moment when you can utilize the repertory grid is when you have multiple ideas from which you have to choose one to pursue. It takes some concentration and time, and you sometimes find yourself using overlapping constructs. Overall, it's a quick way to generate a large number of attributes or constructs that are used for, useful in comparing different examples. You will use it to identify constructs that are important to the participant rather than the researcher, and provide a structured process for relaxing feedback that is easy for the participant to understand. I wish you all the luck with the newest tool in your toolbox.